फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स अ बिग ऑनर टू कोच इंडिया नो मैटर वॉट एज ग्रुप यू आर इन बट गेटिंग द जॉब इट सेल्फ इज अ बिग ऑनर फॉर एनी बडी फॉर एनी कोच इन द कंट्री दैट इज वॉट आई फील एंड दैट इज वॉट आई फील एट द मोमेंट सो माई मेन थिंग इज टू क्वालिफाई फ्रॉम दिस ग्रुप एंड गेट रेडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वालिफाइंग टूर्नामेंट विच इज इन डिसम्बर एंड जनवरी Yeah, everybody knows, and whoever has watched ISL, that what Sandesh Jingan was to Kerala Blasters. He is an upcoming player, good defender, and for sure, hundred percent that he is there, and he is in my plans to be part of the under twenty three Olympic team. Everybody knows that if you want to be a good coach, what EFC has designed is. they have to complete all the certificates starting from c b a and the pro so that is the ultimate for a coach if you want to go into coaching but the other thing is now all the state associations in india getting in conjunction with the iff they have started de licenses which gives them an understanding when they come for c what are they waiting for what are they looking for to complete their c certificate so i think if all the coaches take it seriously and try to prepare the way the coach education is going on right now at the moment that is the only way for our coaches to go ahead and to see that they become good coaches and they have a good future in coaching uh since we know that india is a big country so to develop indian football from all the corners of india so we need i can't name the number the more coaches we have the more better it is and for me the best of coaches should be with the youth development with the grassroots because that is the place right now where we are lacking and that is the place for me the best coaches has to be there at the ground level to prepare the right players for the right development of indian football to be taken forward there are two academies which have been going on under 14 and uh, right now the coach will be joining a foreign coach which we have taken here at this team will be taking over and looking after only thing what i need i think is they need lot of exposure to go to different countries see how the different levels of football in different countries it is played different continents it is played to prepare themselves for the 2017 world cup and i think the more faster we do the more better exposure for the players to get prepared and get ready for 2017 yeah the uh, first of all they have to complete their licenses when they don't go through the c certificates whatever they have been appearing for doesn't mean that their career is over so they have to sit and understand what they have not done what they should do and get back to see that to complete the c certificate those who have completed the c certificate efc has given them 2 years to prepare themselves for the b certificate now the c certificate coach who has gone through thinks that i have passed my c certificate and doesn't give any thought on what he has learned and not preparing himself for the 2 years which the efc has given him to prepare for the b then when he comes to b he is the same what he was in c so every coach after finishing his certificate has to be serious in his workouts has to be serious in his planning organization everything whatever he is doing it so i think that is the only way for us indian coaches to get better and one more advice is all our indian coaches has to be open has to get together has to discuss amongst themselves and whenever we are there in a group we discuss much better ideas are exchanged which tries to help coaches to get better